Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to fly the Ishin Taro 99 and 109 and give you my conclusion whether you should get them or not. Just a quick reminder, both versions come as a kit version which means that you will need to assemble the quadcopter yourself and the difference between the Taro 99 and the 109 are the motors, camera, VTX and the bundle props and in terms of pricing, the Ishin Taro 99 costs $99 and the 109 costs $10 extra. Now, by the way, I should mention that on my build video of the Taro 109, I said that the camera is faulty and it's not working. And the problem wasn't the camera, it was actually the connector to the flight controller, which provides the camera with the voltage of the battery. The maximum working voltage of the Cardex Turbo ES2 is 6 volts, and luckily the camera wasn't damaged, it just didn't turn on, and all I had to do is to rewire the VCC pin to a 5 volts pad on the flight controller, and now the camera is working properly. Now I'm going to show you the flight footage, and I will see you in the end of the video in order to give you my conclusion. Yeah.
So first of all, I hope you enjoyed the flight footage, even though it wasn't amazing. And as you could see, I only included about a minute of flight of the Tal 99. And that's because this FPV camera is just horrific. And I highly recommend that if you already have it, to put this camera where it belongs, which is in the trash, and get a better one, as this camera will just damage your flight experience. In terms of performance, I can tell you that the 2400 kV motors of the Tyro 109 performed much better than the 2150 kV motors of the Tyro 99, and I should mention that I flew these quadcopters with the stock propellers, and if you have the Tyro 99, I definitely recommend to avoid using these bi-bladed propellers. So if you already have the Tyro 99, I recommend to change the FEV camera, propellers, and also the VTX, as it didn't perform great, and a good alternative would be the VTX of the Tyro 109, which is safely protected inside the frame and also performed quite well. But you should note that it will also require you to change to shorter spacers as it just won't fit on top of the stack the way it is. If you don't own any of these quadcopters and you're debating which one to get, of course I recommend to avoid getting the Tyro 99 and you should get the Tyro 109, which costs only $10 extra and already comes with better motors, FED camera and VTX. And I think that in general, the quadcopter performed quite well. I also tested it with 4S and 5S lighter batteries. And I can tell you that surprisingly, even though these motors are rated to work with 5S lighter batteries, I didn't feel a big difference between 5S and 4S. And I honestly think that the quadcopter performed better with 4S lighter batteries. So you should stick to 4S. And in terms of flight time, I got close to five minutes using a 1500 mAh 4S Lipo battery, which is pretty good. So I hope this video helped you to decide whether to get the Tyro 99, 109, or not get them at all. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos. And goodbye.